so I got some mail today. Uh, this is not, in fact, a Radeon 5700 XT. It is just using the box of one, but uh, let's open it up and see what it really is. Yeah, see, this is this is when you don't have good video equipment because I would rarely have a use for it. You got to, you know, you got to have this this quality footage. It's just freaking great. So this uh, this video card you can't really see the the packaging here, but uh, you can't. Tripod. I, I have one, but I forgot to set it up. And uh, if my finger has appeared on the video thus far, then uh, send away for me to give you ten thousand pet hamsters. Right? How did you even get it in there, dude? This is an ASUS GTX 1070 uh, Strix. So it looks like this is actually only dual slot. That's fantastic. And uh, if I'm reading the specs online right. This thing has a fan stop feature, so it can uh, not spin the fans at idle. There's my fingers again. Uh, yeah, Strix GTX 1070 gaming stuff. So, this card is generously donated by Aluminum Haste. Thanks a ton, dude. And I'm going to install this, and at the same time, I'm going to put that passive uh, heatsink on the chipset so that we can get the double whammy. Of quietness and a performance boost. This is awesome. So uh, here's the computer running. I'm encoding a video. <laughs> nice and chilly. High 60s, low 70s. Temperatures there. Now it's not fully utilizing the CPU because you know it's bottlenecking on the hard drive there. But uh, when it does utilize the full CPU, it's around the mid to high 70s, uh, which is okay for a full load. It being so quiet. But we'll see how it goes in the summer. Uh, so yeah, I can't install this now because I'm in the middle of a video and code. It's going to be a little bit of a while yet, but, uh, you know, hey, that's, that's what's happening. So, got the video card out, so here's the plan. This, I'm going to unscrew the cover here and, uh, just show you what I'm going to do with the heatsink there. Uh, this fan, I'm going to, uh, take the motherboard out and just thread this cord uh, around the other way so that this fan has room to get stuck on the other side of this heat sink here without get the cord getting caught up and I'm going to stick the new graphics card in so where is my screwdriver gosh darn it to heck her awkward you have to take this cover off to actually put the motherboard in and take it out because there's one of the motherboard screws under this cover so this is actually meant to be removed this part so uh, that's all good so it comes right off Just awful but you guys asked for some build stuff so well there's your build stuff this is all blurry you can't manual focus the phone whatever so this is the stock fans you can see the quote unquote heatsink is just this part it's tiny it's, it's just ridiculous but this fan is like not actually quite centered. The heat pad has got like a whole corner exposed. I don't know, it's really weird. It's weird that it runs as cool as it does and as quiet as it does. But this, this fan is not quite centered, so the chip is kind of in like right about there where my finger is. So it'll go kind of like that. So but this slot will have this portion blocked, but I'm not using that slot anyway. I'm not going to put dual video cards or anything like that. So this will stay well out of the way of the uh, top video card here, which is only dual slot. And it'll also stay well out of the way of these two drives down here. Those don't even encroach into this area. So this area is going to be completely free. Look at that. And uh, so by my measurements, everything should work out perfectly well. Now I'm gonna to have to take this board out so I can unscrew this uh, this thing from the back. But uh, yeah, so we'll just get to it. Okay, so despite all my uh, calculations, there's always one little thing. So this 
This thing ended up having to be slightly rotated, which I suspected might have to be the case, but that's neither here nor there. It just looks ugly, but fat. But uh, I forgot that this thing's mounting system has these ridiculously tall screws with these huge washers. I guess it's for better grip, but the thing is, this one up here interfered with the video card. <laughs> so, what I've done temporarily, I think I might just try to get a different screw that's shorter and just a smaller washer at the freaking hardware store or something, but just for the moment, it turns out that it was just the shroud, the video card plastic fan shroud that this screw was poking up into. So I just, for the moment, took it off. The card will be like this with the fan shroud off so I can test if it works. Right. I notice this card only has the one 8-pin plug. My last one had an 8 and a 6. Cool, I guess. Okay, well everything's plugged in. So let's see if I broke anything. Now the uh, chipset chip is of course a bare die chip, which lots of people these days, whippersnappers these days, are terrified. Oh my god, it's a bare die! Don't even touch it with a knife or pull me! I used to build uh, copper mine P3s and Thunderbird Athlons, all bare dies. I've never cracked a die, man. I ain't afraid of that stuff. You just got to be careful, all right? So let's see if I'm overly, uh, you know, self-confident uh, here and see if, uh, see if the whole darn thing works. Well, we have an obnoxious LED, even though I told it not to, so that's a good start. Let's see if we have post. Well, our fan spin. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have something. We have post, yes! <laughs> we are up and running. Oh yeah. So now I just got to check the temp of the chipset. I don't expect any problems, but we'll see. And there's, there's the LEDs on the graphics card and on the RAM again, oh well. The software should take care of shutting that right the heck off in just a few moments here. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, so it shut off the... Oh yeah, yeah, it shut off... No, it didn't shut off the video card. I'll have to see if I can figure out how to shut off the damn LEDs on the stupid video card. But, we're up into Windows and I got a low-res screen. So that's great. Good thing I got desktop okay to restore the icons and junk. But oh yes, this has been a success. Except that I had to take the shroud off the graphics card. I'm not sure. It seems like it might be mostly decorative, but I kind of want it on there anyway, so... I mean, one thing I could do since this card is out of warranty anyways, I could just snap the bit of plastic off on the bottom of the shroud, like right here. It was like right around there, where my thumb is, that the screw was pushing up through. So I could just snap this piece of plastic off and it'd be fine. Eh. I don't really want to do that. Hey, stop blurring it, y'all. Damn camera, phone, it looks unprofessional. There we go. But I'm thinking I'd just go to the hardware store and get something better, or just leave it off, because maybe it'll work. Oh, hey, my screen has uh, come back to proper resolution by itself. Dude, this is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, now for some testing. Well, the chipset is a mere 33 degrees Celsius. Now, that'll rise a little bit as it warms up, undoubtedly. But uh, with, the, with the old cooler, it was in the mid-50s. So that's, And I don't even have a fan on this, for God's sake. So this is already a huge improvement. And, I mean, this thing can probably hit 70 or something and be fine, or maybe even more. So, like, it doesn't even matter. Right? This is great. And also, let's just see. Yeah! Graphics Card's fans are not spinning because it is idle. And I guess, I guess I don't want to poke my fingers into here without the shroud, but like, hell, I don't... It's like I say. I'm not stupid. I'm not some stupid user. Right? I'm a pro. So, yeah, it's gonna rise. We'll see just how high it rises. Maybe it'll rise too high, and I'll want to slap like an 80 mil fan on there or something, but... I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, I'm not thinking that'll have to be the case. This heat sink is pretty big. Anyways, on to using it normally and seeing if it explodes. One more thing. For a dual monitor setup, as I would sometimes use, uh, particularly if I'm streaming, I like to have two monitors so I can see the chat, I used to use this one here, which is this old-ass Acer 17-inch 1280 by 1024 TN panel. Bottom of the line, cheap, like whatever, but it still keeps on kicking. The picture is like, you know, 
cheap and low-end lugging, but it's still perfect as far as its specs go. Uh, and I've been using this monitor. It's a VGA only. It only has a VGA plug in the back. So I've been using a VGA to DVI adapter. But uh, this new graphics card, and I was aware of this beforehand because I looked it into it, so no shocks or surprise or anything. These new graphics cards, they don't have an analog pass-through for DVI on them. So I cannot use this monitor anymore whatsoever. So I have to use this other one that I have that I've been using as a, a TV for my old uh, original Wii console. Yep. Uh, so I have to use this one as a secondary. It's also filthy. It's pretty great. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I got this old table that my mom scrounged up. She, uh, I asked her if she's got any old furniture. She's like, yep, I got this old table. So I got this old table. And that's what I'll be using. Also, there's a, there's a blanket on the wall. It's an old sheet that got busted. So I put it on there to, like, pretend to sound dampened, but not at all. Because, let's be honest. Um, yeah.